Hi, Timothy Unkert here. In this video, I want to take a look at an Emacs distribution called Centaur or Centaur Emacs. I, <laughs> I can't pronounce it. Uh, it's, you know, the guy that's a Centaur is like a guy that's like half man, half horse. Here's a picture. Um, let's, let's take a look. So this is the GitHub repository here. It says Centaur Emacs is a fancy and fast Emacs configuration. Um, so let's go down and scroll on down and, uh, we can back up the emacs dot emacs dot D directory. Um, okay. How do we, let's, let's go. How do we install? Let's just go up here. Prerequisites. Um, so we need, uh, one of these operating systems, we need Emacs. That's it. Uh, recommended to use centaur.files, but I'm not going to do that. Let's go to the installation. Where's, where's the installation? Uh, install. Okay. Um, oh, we just want to do, I think, this. Yeah. Because I. I just downloaded a fresh uh, Emacs. I don't have any .emacs.d, so I don't need to back it up. Uh, I'm just gonna clone that. So let's do that. First, I need to copy it, I guess. And, okay, let's paste that in. And all right, so it cloned that in. Let's close up the terminal here. Let's open it up and see what happens. Okay, so it's now opening up and it's going to Elpa and Melpa to get some stuff. I'll pause the video and come back when that's done. Okay, so we're back. It took about 13 minutes for it to uh, download and install everything from Melpa. Um, here is sent to our Emacs. Uh, so this took longer than Space Max or Doom Emacs as well. Um, but let's see what we've got going on with this. So let's open up Dear Ed here and let's just go to the .emacs.d directory. It's using Doom 1 as a theme. I noticed it downloaded Doom mode line. I think it downloaded Company IV, uh, some stuff for TypeScript. So it's got a bunch of stuff in here. Um, let's go down to Ulpa here and let's look at some of these packages. So we got uh, Ace, Add, Aggressive, all, uh, all the icons. That's for the mode line. Um, let's see. Let's see what we recognize down here. Coffee mode. I'm not sure what that is. Council, uh, company. Um, got a bunch of packages. I wonder how many packages actually it downloaded. Uh, so Ivy, all the stuff, LSP. Uh, maggot um, stuff, some org stuff. Um, let's see if there's any other notable stuff. Projectile, uh, rainbow. I mean, not not to say it, all this stuff is not notable. Uh, tree max, uh, tree sitter, TypeScript mode. Okay, so, yep. Um, which key, yarn stuff? No, yard. Uh, and yeah, snippet. Okay, so it did download a lot. I'm gonna open up my terminal. I just wanna see, I'm running uh, a Chromebook here. So let's just see, I was at about 5.3. So it took about uh, four tenths of a gigabyte for this configuration. So 400 megabytes, uh, that's a fair amount. Um, let's, let me go up. One and let's go up and um, let's actually create a folder here. Uh, let's call it sample. And in the sample, let's just create a test.markdown file and uh, we'll see what happens with that. Okay, so. Um, it's giving me a message here. 
but do not have automatic ins install installation. So let's see if it gives me just syntax highlighting here. So it's a regular Emacs key binding. So yeah, I'm getting syntax highlighting when I put a first level heading. And I'm getting some attempt at auto completion. Let's make this a little bit larger for you. Okay, so, and then, you know, we can do like, I don't know, list item one. Uh, wait, actually, let me get out of there. Oh, control G. Okay. Uh, um, hmm. Interesting. All right. Um, let me quit that and let's just uh, go back and kill this line. Let's do uh, list item one. So it is giving me some auto completion here. Uh, I didn't want that. Um, so let me see, what, what can I do here? Make a, a little bit more of a list item. Okay. Uh, so I can have my list items here. Um, let's see what else. Uh, so it, it looks like everything's working in that. So like a link to Google. It's giving me syntax highlighting here. It's trying to give me an auto completion. Uh, But it does kind of, the auto completion is kind of getting in the way of the word. So that's messing me up a little bit. All right, uh, that's um, Markdown. Let's try another file. Let's do uh, test.html. So it does have some Markdown highlighting, which is nice here. Um, okay, the following servers could be installed automatically. Uh, let's do that one. Can, can I install it? Do I have to, how do I get, how do I install? Okay. Um, yeah, okay. So it does give me a snippet here, but how, what am I? Uh, okay. So it looks like failed. Uh, we failed to install that. So maybe I have to install some other servers. But okay, so I want to choose the snippet. Okay, so I press enter to choose the snippet. Uh, if I want the head, it's not going to give me that. Let's see if I, okay. So it does give me some web mode stuff. Um, yeah, I'm going to see web here. Let me make this larger for you again. Uh, okay, let's see what other type of uh, stuff we have here. Okay, it's not really giving me any completion there. Um, okay, uh, let's go down here. Uh, let's do body. Does it give me anything? No. Okay, and let's let's see what tags it it helps to generate. Um, let's just do h1. Nope. How about a paragraph? Okay, so it's not really giving me any, it's giving me typical web mode stuff, I think, but um, yeah, I mean, auto closing tags. Okay, uh, let's go create another file here. Let's do test.css. Okay, so it's going to start a new file. Um, okay, uh, so I probably have to do something to install these language servers. Uh, and that may make it work a little bit better. Um, it's, okay, so it is giving me some auto completion there. Let's see if it does uh, background color. I'm gonna hit enter. Yeah, I want black. Okay, so it's giving me some suggestions here. How about, uh, okay, we could go down and do font family, um, yeah. I don't know, Helvetica, something like that. So it does look like it's giving me some suggestions here. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, let's see if it does just a couple more suggestions. So go down, let's do, uh, so we got, you gotta hit enter here uh, to get it to complete the auto suggestion, not tab, okay. Um, Let's go and check out a JavaScript file, see what it has there. 
And again, it's it's wanting me to do this stuff. Um, so I probably have to install something to get this to work fully 100%. Uh, so let's um, let's type document dot query selector all. I don't know paragraph here. Um, <clears throat> I'm just making stuff up here. Um, okay, does it give me any like? Yeah, does it give me any snippets for the, Okay, it does. So if I hit tab with the four, it does give me the, the snippet there. Okay. Um, let's go down. Uh, let's do do. No, do. Uh, while. Uh, okay, how about do while? So it's not giving me, for some reason, it gave me the four. Let's see if I can do that again. Okay, so four and tab. So that's that's the completion it gives me. Um, that's not giving me, let me try if. Okay, so that's a snippet. Um, so it does have some snippets in JavaScript. Okay, cool. Uh, let's try another file here. Let's do a test.python uh, Python file. Okay. And again, I would have to install uh, this server, it looks like. So, <clears throat> um, let's see if I type print. Okay, it gives me that. Hello, world. Um, all right. Uh, so, we could do a function. Uh, I don't know. Okay, and it you know has nice syntax highlighting. It has um, it, you know the proper indentation, that kind of stuff. Um, I don't know. Yeah, has some autocomplete there. Uh, let's see what else. Um, do four four var in collection. Okay, so it does have some snippets here. Uh, it's interesting what about if, if, okay. So it's got some snippets in Python as well. So it's got some snippets set up. Let's take a look at the menu. Let's toggle the menu bar mode from frame and we'll see what we got some options up here. We've got Python mode, um, projectile. So we could find a file. Um, let's do CCPF. Let's do our control C P F. Uh, switch to project. Okay. So that's what that pulls up. Uh, let me just quit out of there. Um, let's see. So we can find a file in known projects. Um, switch to project. Oh, that's what I think I did, but me. Try this control C P F switch to project. Okay. Um, all right. So, uh, has that, I haven't used projectile a ton using yeah, snippet a little bit. I did a video on that the other day. Um, so let's see Python mode. What snippets do we have? So, uh, we could do main. Okay. And that gives you the, a main function. Um, so that's cool. Let's, let's actually switch to like JavaScript and no, that's not what I wanted. Uh, let's take a look at what we've got for JavaScript. Okay. So we've got like ANFN. Okay. So we've got an anonymous function there. We got a bunch of stuff. So yeah, snippets installed. Uh, we have two JavaScript menus here, but one is not pulling up and the other. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, we have a, a maybe JS2 mode. Um, okay. So 
this would be a lot to learn, this Centaur Emacs. Um, I don't know that it's the configuration for me. I tend to like something a little bit more minimal, but um, it may be something to try out. It's interesting. I think I need to la uh, install some language servers to make sure it's running 100% correctly. Um, but interesting for first look. I'm not sure, again, I'm not sure if I would use it, but it might be something you want to try. I'll leave a link to the repository for Centaur Emacs in the description below uh, if you want to give it a try. Uh, if you do like this video, please give it a like as it will help get out to more people and more people can learn about Centaur Emacs. Uh, and if you want to subscribe, um, if you haven't done so already, it also helps the channel grow. I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.